Are you gonna throw it into the water? Okay, and let's see if it floats or it sinks. What does it look like? Floating. It's floating and sinking? Esta está larga. Wow. A ver. It's a bilingual beach adventure for the children of the Refugee and Immigrant Family Center, or RIFC. I see you're rolling with your both hands. Mira, Maxi. Este se ve como que está blanco. This field trip to West Seattle's Lincoln Park is one of many that allows preschoolers to experience learning outside the classroom. I'm going to help you. Oh, careful, 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 careful. careful. Ah! Oh, oh. No me gustó. Échale más sal. It's a very special place because we try to be very welcoming to all families and all cultures. For 30 years, RIFC has served primarily lower income families in West Seattle, but all are welcome. Our mission, just based on the community, because we're in Delbridge, is to provide really high quality preschool environment for families who may not necessarily be receiving it within the Delbridge area. What did we see? The spider nature. I make a house. Luna, Luna. Si, parece una luna, es cierto. Now that we've been a part of this place for a good three years, there's nowhere else I'd be. All of the center's teachers are bilingual. A majority speak Spanish. Despite language differences, each student is urged to celebrate who they are. I don't want to lose identity. I want them to feel proud. Learn. English, the language that's mostly spoken here, but also it's important to keep their culture. We don't want that to be squashed. That's me, more rocks, teacher. La ultima, okay? The school is led by Luz Casio, who migrated to this country in her late 20s with two young children. I sacrificed my language, my culture, my family, my community to start a new one here. She worked as a janitor at night while her husband worked in the morning. Later, she went to college and got a degree, then a master's, and finally a PhD. I have really high respect for her. I find myself holding back so as not to boast and brag about what, what an experience that my kids have here. But that experience nearly ended when the preschool's property owner made a startling announcement. The owner came and said, you know, that he intend to, uh, to sell. I wonder where this family will go. The school staff and parent volunteers were crushed. They had spent years renovating the place, building community. As you know, a nonprofit organization, of course, we don't have all those funds. So we do kind of this in, in, in phases. So we do first the kitchen, and then when the kitchen went, were done, and then we start the, you know, the classroom renovation. And after that, we do the playground and the parking lot. An estimated $400,000 in upgrades were about to be forfeited forever. All those efforts, I don't want this to just wash away, like never happened. With no long-term lease, a sale was certain. I tried to figure it out, tried to figure it out. Let us pray. An urgent search for a solution led to the city's equitable development initiative. There was 45 students and their families who were at risk of being displaced and not having a place for childcare, preschool. Um, and I think in the neighborhood, there's not a lot of programs which are also dual language, Spanish and English. The Equitable Development Initiative supports groups dealing with housing, cultural, and commercial displacement. Seattle has become so expensive, and uh, um, a lot of um, marginalized communities, uh, immigrant refugees, are the ones who are hit first. EDI has become a national model with community partnering with government, yet community leads the way. That is a central piece of what anti-displacement means community ownership and community initiated programs. The Refugee and Immigrant Family Center applied for EDI funding and met the criteria. Timing could not have been better. Through an award of over $800,000, we were able to help them buy this building to make sure that no matter how this neighborhood changed, there would be a place for these families. Yay! Not just a place, 
but a home. You walk into this place and there are pictures of you and your family around, so what does that feel like? A home. It reminds you of home. All are welcome here. All are welcome. An appropriate book for a school that accepts all refugees and immigrants, no matter when or from where they came. I was born and raised in Mexico. My husband's father was an immigrant. My grandparents were immigrants. As someone who lived as a refugee in my teenage years, and then eventually as an immigrant here in the U.S. Durango, Mexico. I uh, came here as an immigrant about 20 years ago, and sure. Somalia. Ready, amigos? Get your partners and follow me. You need to understand who we are. It's like we're a community. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.